Here we have another example of a pseudoaneurysm. However, in this case, we have a patent PSA. Immediately you see the blood flow coming from the SFA and bleeding into the encapsulated pocket in the surrounding tissue. In this image, we sample the neck of the PSA, and you can see the two-fro flow pattern, which simply represents flow into and out of the sac. Here's an image of the neck and the classic swirling red and blue color pattern of a pseudoaneurysm. Now it's important to take diameter measurements for two reasons. For the interpreting physician's information to determine how large of an area he may have to inject and for follow-up studies to determine if the area has gotten either larger or smaller. We were also tasked with determining if there were any effects on the venous system. So we looked at the common femoral and found the vein did not compress. You can see the same can be said at the femoral vein proximally. We continued on with the study. There's a proximal partial compression of the femoral vein. However, the remainder of the veins on the right side are fully compressible. Moving back to the popliteal, we see pulsatile flow, pulsatile venous flow. Of course, this is not normal for the veins. The same is found in the femoral vein, the common femoral vein, and the distal external iliac vein. All represent pulsatile venous flow. Now we compare that flow with the contralateral leg. You can see here the popliteal, the femoral vein. This is more venous flow here. Though continuous, it's still venous flow. It's not pulsatile like what we saw on the right. And the common femoral vein. So what can we say about this study? First, it is obvious that there is a pseudoaneurysm. We have the classic two-fro flow patterns at the right groin. There is a communication here of the SFA with the encapsulated hematoma, or PSA now, with the neck. So that is clear, there's a pseudoaneurysm. However, because of the flow patterns we found of the popliteal and femoral vein, common femoral vein, and iliac veins, we are also concerned that there is likely a fistulization that has occurred between the artery and the vein. Therefore, we can say there is a PSA and that this person will likely need to be rescanned to determine if there is truly a deep vein thrombosis or simply high pressures that would not allow the sonographer to compress the veins that we saw in the right common femoral and femoral vein proximally.